Hey everybody, I'm Liz. I'm here with Pastor Dave, and this is Behind the Series. Love it. And we're excited to just chat about what's going on at Willow. We will chit chat. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> Go so ahead. we're at the summit yes. right now, which is always a great time. Feels like the start of fall. Yes. Um, but I'd love to hear what were some of your highlights from the summer? Highlights for the summer. Okay. Uh, well, my family got to go on a vacation. My in-laws had their 50th wedding anniversary. And so we got That's to go time. and do a little uh, vacation, which was really cool. And uh, other than that, I would say at Willow, a couple of things was the Volunteer Appreciation Sunday. We had over 400 volunteers sign up to say, hey, we want to help out, which so is good. so awesome. Join the mission. That's beautiful. What else happened this summer that was amazing? What was one of your favorite things? We did the backpack drive and school supply drive. My, that was amazing. I know here at South Barrington, they were trying to raise, I think it was 2022 backpacks. Yep. They came in at like 2,500 backpacks. It was and incredible. And it was over 3,000 backpacks. And if you got to be a part of, got to be a part of watching them hand them out to the kids, they were super excited, which was really, really fun to watch. That was awesome. Yeah. So as we look to August, we're kicking off a new series called You're Not Alone with yes. the hopes of normalizing conversations around mental health. Yes. We know depression, anxiety, loneliness, burnout is kind of at a all, all time high. So why are we taking time to talk about it as a church? Well, I think we talk about a church because that's what people are dealing with right now. And, you know, we've got a loving God that says, cast your cares upon me because I care for you. Mm -hmm. And what that means is whatever matters to us matters to him. So if we're pe if we're, our people are going through it, we want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And the Bible has a lot to say about it. Yeah. I mean, God created our minds. God created our emotional, physical uh, selves. And so I want to hear what God has to say about that. What are some common misconceptions around mental health that you're hoping we can address during this series? Uh, I would say common misconceptions around mental health would be you either um, you have mental health issues or you don't. Mm -hmm. That there are some people that are just beyond that. That the truth is, is that all of us have mental health. We just have different stages of mental health. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's trying to figure out, you know, where we are, how do we take next steps with God in the area of our mental health? Oh, that's great. I think too, in Christian circles, sometimes it's like, if you have enough faith or you can pray your depression away. And we're excited for the series because we're going to learn from some mental health experts as well. Uh, Jesus and therapy yeah. at the same time. That's good. So, and a stigma as well, I think, is sometimes around mental health, especially in the church, like if you didn't pray enough yeah. or if you didn't have enough faith. So I love to remove that and, like you said, normalize the idea, sure. normalize the conversation. What are you hoping people leave the series knowing? I would love people to leave the series knowing that there is hope, mm -hmm. that wherever you are in this journey, there is a next step that you can take. And honestly, I think it'd be great if we could equip people with what that next step is. So if somebody needs uh, a next step in becoming healthy in you know, their, their friend relationships, that's a part of mental health. If somebody needs help in figuring out, hey, how is my body contributing to my mental health? What is the next steps there? What does the next steps look like for professional resources? And how can I take those? Uh, I think for me, that would be a great, great win coming out of the, the series. The series kicks off this Sunday, August 7th, runs throughout the month of August. And then we're looking at the fall. So yes. what are some things coming up at Willow this fall that people should be aware of? Yeah, well, you should definitely be aware. If you've got kids, we've got Next Gen kickoff is this fall and it's super excited about that. I got to go to Sandblast yeah. this year yeah. and uh, that was super fun to watch the kids. There's a lot of energy and there's a lot of students in particular that I think we're, we're sending back into the schools who are amped up about what it means to follow Jesus. Love God, love people, change the world. That's super exciting. And because sometimes you don't remember dates, that date is August 21st. So mark your calendars for yes. our next gen kickoff. Very good. Thank you very much for that. And uh, I have to say another thing I'm excited about is Rooted. Yeah. 10, 11 week uh, discipling experience that um, helps people connect with God and their purpose and the church. And so far, we've been kind of rolling this out slowly. We did it with our staff. We did it with some leaders. We did it at a couple of campuses. And this fall is where we kind of open it up for everybody. Yeah. 
And so far, the response has just been phenomenal. People are really enjoying Ruby. Yeah, so registration opens on Sunday, and then groups kick off September 18th. You got, so that, you got that date the dates, for me again. I've Good got job. the dates Love and the it. details for you. So we're excited to share more about Rooted this Sunday as well. Uh, but keep a lookout. So it's going to be a great fall at Willow. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. This has been Behind the Series with Pastor Dave, and we look forward to seeing you next time.